I don't know if you've noticed before, but I am a little bit obsessed with Firefox OS. I made a full video explaining what it was and why it failed. I then made a full video explaining what KaiOS, the operating system that was built on top of the open source remains of Firefox OS, what that is and why that actually became massively successful. You can watch both of them somewhere here. So when the KaiOS team reached out to me last week saying that they had exclusive news to share with me about their first official partnership with Mozilla that would bring official Firefox support back to the KaiOS project, I was intrigued. Could this be the rebirth of Firefox OS? So I did a lot of interviewing, I did a lot of digging, and here's everything that I could figure out. If you have seen my previous two videos, which you definitely should watch if you don't have a solid understanding of the two operating systems, you might remember that KaiOS is a derivative of the Firefox OS project that Mozilla abandoned in 2016. The KaiOS team basically took the open source code base, stripped it down to fit their form factor of smart feature phones, slapped their own customizations like an app store and a services layer on top, and starting in 2017, shipped it to phone makers who until now have sold well over 130 million phones running it. KaiOS became available in over a hundred countries around the world, received support from app makers like Google, Facebook, and Twitter, and by any stretch of the imagination has become a phenomenal commercial success, firmly establishing itself as the third major operating system after iOS and Android. Despite their impressive sales numbers though, their platform had one clear problem from the very beginning. It was based on Firefox version 48 from 2016, which Mozilla obviously wasn't maintaining anymore. And while the KaiOS team managed to patch it up over time and tried to improve it, without any sort of official support from Mozilla, they weren't able to move to newer versions of Gecko, the Firefox rendering engine. That is of course a huge problem as Gecko powers essentially all of KaiOS. Both the user interface of the system, like the home screen for example, as well as all the apps on top are written in web technologies like HTML, CSS and JavaScript and all are rendered by Gecko. So it being stuck on version 48 means the performance and the features of the phone were essentially stuck in 2016. The web and of course Firefox didn't stop innovating in 2016 and in fact went through multiple major technological changes since then. Most notably in 2017 Mozilla released their hugely important quantum update which made Gecko almost twice as fast as before. Plus over time Gecko received better support for modern web technologies like WebGL and WebAssembly, new CSS and JavaScript standards and so on. And KaiOS wasn't getting any of those. Beyond limiting performance, this also meant that KaiOS was sort of slowly drifting away from the rest of the internet, becoming a little island of its own away from the mainland because of all the capabilities that it didn't have that the rest of the browsers did have. Kind of like Internet Explorer back in the old days, KaiOS was becoming this hugely important platform with hundreds of millions of users that just couldn't do any of the modern web stuff. So web developers actually had to customize their websites just to be able to run on it which is really the opposite of how the web should work. Now this limitation was apparent from the start and I was always wondering how the KaiOS team would actually solve it. When about a year ago, Google became a major shareholder in the company with an investment of 22 million US dollars, I thought they were actually attempting to make the switch to Google's Chromium engine in the background, which would have explained the lack of progress with Firefox. But the KaiOS team refused to comment on my question regarding this, so I'll just have to leave that as a guess for now. Anyway, what we do know now is that after three years of falling further and further behind, the KaiOS team has finally signed a deal with Mozilla. And here's everything we know about that agreement. Mozilla has a pretty complex release schedule with many different branches like betas, nightlies, and so on. And every few months, they create something called the ESR, or Extended Support Release, which is basically a super stable enterprise branch that gets supported by security and stability patches for much longer than other releases. Going forward, Mozilla will make sure that each of these ESR versions will be compatible with the KaiOS system and that it will be easy to integrate. They wouldn't tell me exactly how this process would work beside harmonizing the testing environments of the two companies, but with this support in place, the KaiOS team should be able to take each ESR Firefox update and ship it at one of their major KaiOS version updates. 
So KaiOS 3.0, for example, is planned to come out using Firefox ESR version 78, which should bring with it four full years of improvements, like the long-awaited performance jump of Quantum and compliance with modern web standards, WebGL, better progressive web app support, and so on. Much like Google does with Android, KaiOS then pushes up the OS to device makers and carriers to get it running on their devices and the networks, which should bring KaiOS 3.0 to real devices in early 2021. And if all of this goes according to plan, that would not only be hugely positive for the KaiOS team, who could finally make steady progress with their operating system, but also for Mozilla. Neither party would confirm to me if money is actually changing hands in this new deal, but even if Mozilla isn't getting paid, it could now rely on KaiOS to do for Firefox what they themselves couldn't pull off, which is to push Firefox into the hands of hundreds of millions of first-time mobile internet users around the world. That's hugely important because Firefox's market share is shrinking on desktops despite all of their recent improvements and because it never really took off on phones due to the prominent pre-installed browsers on both Android and iOS. So it desperately needs new users from somewhere. Which brings me to my initial question. Is KaiOS essentially Firefox OS Reborn? Well, technically yes, in the sense that it is a mobile operating system supported officially by Mozilla that renders websites with the Gecko engine. But beyond that, it is actually quite different as well. While the KaiOS team open sources a big chunk of their OS, like the kernel, unlike Mozilla, they also keep some of it proprietary. And the KaiOS team is not the privacy-focused nonprofit that Mozilla is. According to their own description, their primary revenue sources are in-app purchases and advertising, and their built-in KaiOS web browser does not currently have an option for blocking trackers on the web, which is very much unlike regular Firefox, which blocks almost everything by default. Either way, I'm quite excited for both parties, and I think this deal could further boost KaiOS's already meteoric rise. I just wish that at some point, they'll also start adopting some of Firefox's excellent privacy policies. What do you think about this deal, though? I've created a Twitter poll. It is linked down in the description. You can go there, cast your vote, let me know what you think. You can leave a comment, or just come hang out with me on Twitter. That's pretty much where I live my life. All right, see you in the next video.